Hello everyone. You're welcome to Fuco Mathematics. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have x square root of x square root of x <clears throat> and this is equal to square root of 2 square root of 2. Now, by looking at this, you will see that um, <clears throat> one of the solutions, you know, to this problem is that x is equal to 2. But that is not going to be complete. We can still have other solutions to this problem. And that's what we are going to look at today. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to remove the square root over there. And whatever you do on both sides we not change the equation right so this will cancel this and this will cancel this now we have x square root of x and is equal to 2 square root of um of 2 now the next thing is for me to square both sides again okay and um why am i squaring both sides again because i need to remove this square root okay now this square will be affecting this x as well so we have x squared now the square and the square root will cancel so that we have x over here and this is equal to now 2 will be taking this as its power as well and this will give us 4 then this and this will cancel so we have to multiply 2 now right so that's from here, x squared times x will pick one of the bases and then have 2 plus 1 because the power of this x is 1. And then this is 4 times 2, which will give us 8. Now, what do we do? We have x to the power of 3 to be equal to 8. And then from here, the next thing I will do is to bring 8 to the left hand side, right? So if I do that, instead of getting the cube root of 8, why don't you bring 8 to the left hand side? So we have x to the power of 3, okay, um, minus 8. So this will be equal to 0. And then from here, let's express 8 in index form. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. Now, what do we apply? This is what we are going to apply. Remember, okay, remember that if you have um, a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as um, we have um, a minus b into bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so this is what we have and we are going to apply this same principle now so that from here from x to power 3 minus 2 to power 3 equals 0 i'm going to have x minus 2 in the first bracket then in the other bracket a squared becomes x squared then plus a b will be 2 times x which is 2x then plus this b squared becomes 2 squared so i have 2 squared over here and the whole of this is equal to 0 and now let's take a step x minus 2 into bracket x squared plus 2x plus 4 equal to zero because we have two squared now the next thing i will do is to you know is to apply zero product rule we are having two things two terms to multiply and they are giving us zero it means that one of them is either equal to zero or both of them are equal to zero now pick the first here we have x minus two we will equate this to zero or here we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 and we will equate this to 0 as well okay so that from here now i have to deal with this first so i will get one of the solutions 
from this place we have x minus 2 equal to 0 meaning that x is equal to 0 plus 2 right and then x is equal to 2 now this is one um this is one of the solutions to this equation now from this quadratic equation we can get another two solutions right although there will not be real solutions but let's take a look we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0 right okay so from here now we cannot factorize this we cannot factorize it or oh, by the way can we factorize this let's try to see if we can um nope we cannot factorize this and because of that we will apply um the formula method so for the formula our a is one our b is this um the coefficient of x and that is two and then our c is four now let's look at the formula right away okay so we continue from here this is the um, general quadratic formula and then here we have um, our a b and c so let's substitute x will now be equal to in place of minus b i will write minus 2 plus or minus okay in place of b squared i'm going to have 2 squared minus 4 times 1 for a then times c c is 4 and then the whole of this is over 2 times 1 because a is 1 x is equal to minus 2 positive or negative and then i have square root of um, 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 that will give us um 16 and this is over 2 that is over 2 and then from here x is equal to minus 2 positive or negative square root of um, 4 minus 16 is minus 12 right and the whole of this is over 2 now we can take a step further so that we have um, x equal to minus 2 positive or negative we have square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 okay because um square root of 12 times square root of negative 1 will give us square root of negative 12 this is over 2 now let's take a step forward our x will be minus 2 positive or negative square root of 12 here remember in 12 we have um 4 so we can have 4 times 3 as 12 then multiply by square root of negative 1 is actually i okay so this is what we have now the whole of this is divided by 2 now x here is equal to minus 2 positive or negative square root of 4 here is going to give us 2 i have root 3 here and then bring in the i and the whole of this is over 2 but now i want to do something now okay so from here we are going to factor out 2 because 2 is here and it's here as well so if we factor out 2 here we are going to have minus 1 then positive or negative here i'm going to have square root of 3 i okay and this is over 2 but now 2 can cancel this 2 and we have x to be equal to minus 1 positive or negative square root of 3 i but remember we can you know, split this into 2 because this is 2 in 1 one is positive the other one is negative over here now let's get the three roots the three solutions together the first is x1 and is equal to 2 this is the only true solution and um, the only true solution then our x2 now will be from here and is minus 1 plus square root of 3i then our x3 is also from here but it's negative this time so we have negative 1 negative square root of 3i okay so these are the three solutions to the given equation
and the only real solution is x equal to 2. Thank you for watching.